how much do you like asking clients for more money? They've given you a budget and through whatever reason, more people have claimed the pride, more people have redeemed the coupon, more people have uh, entered the competition, you've overspent. But in itself, it is a form of promotional risk insurance. It gives you the chance to budget everything with 100% cost certainty before the campaign started. And actually, the, rather than it being a negative, we kind of like to see it as a positive. Because without that, the campaign may never get off the launch pad. It might never get green lit because it doesn't come with the guaranteed cost and the budget. So that's something which I think is probably more of an enabler rather than a what if it all goes a bit rubbish. Leonie, now I think we're going to look at an idea where campaigns never would have happened had they not had the support of fixed cost because no, the, the businesses involved wouldn't want to have the amended liability on their books. My personal favourite uh, promotion is an instant win. I think it's the most exciting for consumers because it's that instant gratification and it really catches your attention. You know immediately um, the outcome. There's no extra hurdles that you need to um, follow through. And I think you can see that in the redemption rates as well because they're generally slightly higher. Um, this one that we worked on with 19 Crimes, it's a lovely play on um, their names. So find the 19th court and then you win a share of £100,000. So they were winning court, seeded within the bottles. Um, and the winning corks had winner stated on them and a code. So you simply had to open your bottle of wine, A, enjoy the wine, check the cork. And then if you had a winning cork, you could go online to then claim your share of that 1000 So really simple message, really simple mechanic and um, really great results for the brand in terms of on-shelf cut through and sales in that period. We are running something in Germany, which is very, very similar. If you bought a Acer product in Germany and Germany win the Euros, you get it for free. Now, will Germany win the Euros? Scotland hope not. We hope not too. England hope not too. Um, but we ran something identical for the Rugby World Cup in South Africa, which is if you bought a Samsung TV and South Africa won the Rugby World Cup, you got it for free and they went and won it. So it was payout. So it's all very, very well offering the exciting prizes, but sometimes they do happen. We want them to happen. We had, we had uh, provided the full reassurance to the client that they, they could go ahead and offer this attractive incentive, which drove sales and then paid out when, uh, at the end of the day when South Africa won. So it's a, a major win-win. Risk managed promotions can give you the peace of mind and you know you can have those we will have those sleepless nights. You can enjoy your sleep. So there's loads of questions that are, remain unanswered at the start of a campaign. So how many entries are you going to get? How many prizes will be won and claimed? What is the best communication route? And what is the total cost to fulfill the prizes? Through that risk managed solution, those questions are answered because you're given that fee upfront, your marketing budget is sorted, and you know that you're getting or you're putting the best promotion out there that your budget allows.